barn owl nest boxes in buildings last a lot longer and the extra shelter afforded by the building can be great for the owls. If you're not sure whether your building is right for a barn owl nest box, just take a look at our video called How to Erect a Barn Owl Box and that subject is covered. A barn owl nest box to go in a building is really, really simple to make. And the important thing about the design is the depth. The depth from the bottom of the entrance hole to the floor of the box where the owls are going to be nesting. This one is a full 45 centimetres deep and that's crucial. What we don't want is the young to emerge before they can fly. They'll end up on the ground, they'll be ignored by the adults, they're probably going to die. To build a box like this, you just need slightly over half a sheet of 9mm softwood ply. Please don't use tropical hardwood. You need just under 130 millimetre screws and just over six metres of 25 by 50 millimetre batten. So you need to mark out all the pieces on the plywood and there's a cutting plan on our website. All right, let's, uh, let's cut it up now. Thank you very much. <laughs> The battens you'll need are six pieces 61 centimetres long, two pieces 51 centimetres, four pieces 44 centimetres long, four pieces 28.5 centimetres long and another two pieces 28.5 centimetres long but these have the ends cut off at an angle of approximately 15 degrees. All the dimensions you need are on our website. Once all the battens are cut, we use 30mm screws to attach them to the plywood. First, take two of the longest battens and the first side piece. Place the battens underneath on either side and attach. You can use nails if you prefer. You can pre-drill the plywood or not, it's really up to you. Now take one of your short battens and put this piece across one end. Next batten is 15 centimetres down from the top. That helps to support the exercise platform which will go on at the end. This batten is cut at angles at the end. It's going to end up being attached to the lid and will stop the lid sliding off. These are temporary screws that will just hold this piece in place for the time being. Now just repeat the same process to create the other side. For the exercise platform, take two of the longest battens and screw them to the ends of the plywood like this. Do make sure the battens are parallel. Now take one of the 51 cm long battens and fix along this edge of the plywood. Turn it over and fix the remaining 51 cm batten along this edge. This is important as it will give the young owls something to grip. Once you've attached all the battens to the plywood it should look like this and you've just got four pieces of batten left which you're going to use during assembly. Position two sides on the table and then lay the back across them. If you put the screws in the plywood beforehand, it does make the process easier. 
Then position and attach one of the 44 cm battens and do the same at the other end. Make sure that the battens that you fitted to the internal sides are closest to you and then place the front piece of plywood in position so that the owl hole is closest to you and then simply screw the front on. Now add your last two 44 cm battens, one at the bottom and one at the top. Turn the box upside down and screw on the bottom piece using screws along all four edges. Turn the box the right way up and put the lid into position, but don't screw all the way around. Just use three screws on each side into the battens that were cut at an angle. Remove these screws so the lid can be lifted. It does need to lift off easily. At seven weeks old, a nestling barn owl can jump up to the hole and get out, even although it's not quite ready to fly. So if your box is less than 70 centimetres deep, it must have an exercise platform. To attach the exercise platform, you do need stronger, bigger screws. So we use five by 50 millimeter. Slide the platform into position and line it up with the bottom of the owl hole. Now fix the platform, making sure the screws go into the extra battens that are on the inside and there are no sharp ends poking through. When you attach the exercise platform, don't forget to put a couple of screws in just here. A gap can open up which can trap a barn owl by its toe. A couple of screws will prevent that. And there you have it. A nice deep barn owl nest box ready to be erected inside an outbuilding. Check out the next video, how to erect a barn owl nest box in a building. You can find more information on the Barn Owl Trust website and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful.